Have you ever been on Pinterest and you wanted to create a new board but you had no idea where to start? Whether you're a beginner or an expert when it comes to using Pinterest, having new board ideas can be so difficult to come up with. And that is why for this video I came up with over 50 different board ideas that you guys can either implement or spin off of or do whatever you want with. I don't know. I'm just glad you're here. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Kylie, and I'm so happy that you are here. As I mentioned, this video is 50 different Pinterest board ideas for you guys. This is highly requested and something that is like long time overdue, but here we are, we're doing it. I wrote them all down on my notebook, but there's a couple things that I wanna say before we get into the Pinterest ideas. The first thing that I wanna mention is that Pinterest is your space. That is what makes this social media different from all the other ones, from Instagram, Facebook, you name it. Your Pinterest page is specially catered to you, and no two pages look the same. That is what I want to start off with because even when I give you guys these ideas, you can make it your own, you can do whatever you want, and there's no judgment from anyone else, and that is why I love Pinterest so much. The next thing that I want to say, if none of these 50 ideas resonate with you, think about things that you do. Think about things that you like. Think about things that you wear or want to wear. Think about things that you want. Think about future goals. And think about things that you have. Those are just my general tips for things to come up with board ideas because the more personal things are to you, the more Pinterest is gonna to cater to your personality and things that you like. So when you're trying to come up with different ideas and start different Pinterest boards, just think about your personality, who you are, and have your Pinterest be a reflection of that. So now we're gonna get into the 50 ideas that I have for you guys, and then when we're done with that, I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial about how I used Canva to create my Pinterest board covers. I got a lot of comments on my last video that I made about Pinterest, and if you haven't seen that video, please go watch it. I will link it in the description and in a card. But I made personalized board covers for each of my boards that I have, and I used Canva for that, so I am gonna show you guys at the end of this video, if you wanna stick around for that, how I made those because like I said, I got a lot of questions on my last video about how I did that. So now we're gonna get into the 15 different board ideas. These are not organized in any way. I literally just sat down and jotted down my entire um, list that I have. So that being said, let's get right into it. The first board idea that I have for you guys is beaches. If you like sunny weather and palm trees and looking out at the ocean, create a board for that. Something that'll make you feel summery and happy and things that remind you of the coast. Next idea is mountains. Again, if you like mountains and you like that scenery, foggy mountains, snowy mountains, you name it, Pinterest has it. And so you can create a board catered to the other side. If you don't like beach as much, you can go to being in the mountains. Going along with mountains, kind of, if you like deep forest or hiking or anything that has to do with nature like that, create a forest board or a nature board. Next thing, you can create a board for snow. If you, whether you live in Florida or if you live up here in Wisconsin or Minnesota, snow is definitely a thing. <laughs> um, but if you like the aesthetics of snow and looking at it, then definitely create a board for that. Another thing that's really popular is lake life. Uh, canoeing, kayaking, being on the lake, pontooning, things like that. Those are all pins that you could add to your lake life board if you wanted to. Girls in swimsuits, tanning, anything like that that could kind of go along with beaches, but in my head beaches and our oceans and lakes are kind of different, so uh, that it would be a separate board for me. Another board idea is traveling going places, seeing things, places that you want to visit in the future, or just pretty places that you like to look at. Add that to your travel board, and be careful with this one because it could definitely make you want to travel, and with that not happening right now, it's kind of dangerous. Next couple board ideas are pretty generic, they just have to do with seasons and um, holidays, so the first one being summer, hot weather, cold drinks, you name it, that can go on a summer board. Uh, next one is fall. A lot of people I follow have fall boards with the pretty leaves and uh, that could go into another board being Halloween. If you want to make them the same board or separate, that is up to you. You can also do sections in different things, which is a whole nother video 
If you want me to do a sections video, let me know down below. Next one being winter. Again, this could also go into the snowy kind of aesthetics, being snow or Christmas decorations if you celebrate that or any other holiday that happens in the winter season. That can be a board. You can also create boards based on your goals, like I mentioned in the beginning. So um, future goals that you have. If you have pins that remind you of what you want to see in your own future, you can put that in a future board. I have one called Future Manifestations, and that's what all that is. Pins that I look at and want to see in my future. You can also do home goals. That's my biggest board on Pinterest, our home stuff. And I have eight sections in it, um, but exterior designs that you like, kitchen colors, kitchen anything, um, bedroom goals that you have, bathroom goals that you have, literally anything related to house and home goals that you like can go into a board. Another goal one is friend goals, like friendships that you like or just that kind of relationship based of a board, you can do that. Another one is wedding goals. If you're a girl and you dream about your wedding day, this is a board that is so nice to have because you can look back and you can plan your dress off that, you can plan the ring, you can plan the venue. Anything that's related to a wedding can go on this board. Next thing I have are hair goals. So if you change up your hair a lot or if you don't and you just wanna live vicariously through Pinterest, you can do different hair things. Um, I've been pinning a lot of bangs lately because I may or may not be <laughs> cutting bangs next month and I've been pinning a lot of dark hair. You don't have to do what you want. You can just do hair that you like, hairstyles, uh, different hair accessories that can all go into one board. Next one being makeup ideas. If you like eyeshadows or just full face, whatever you like to do, that can be in a board as well. Next thing, if you like tattoos, you can create a tattoo inspiration board, things that you like, things that you may or may not get, uh, depending on whether or not you like to have different tattoos on your body, that's up to you. Next idea I have you guys is music. If you love music like I do, then music is a board that you have to have. Um, I put different albums in there that I like, different songs, different playlists, different, basically anything that has to do with music or artists, I have in that board. Another big one that I have is a movie board, um, different movies that I like, movies that I've seen, movie quotes, anything that has to do with movies goes in my cinematic lifestyle board. And you can decide if you want to have different sections for each movie or if you just want it to be a generic board that all the movies are mixed up and in there together, it can be up to you. Next board, a uh, coffee board. If, again, you're like me and you are obsessed with coffee, that's a need. Um, literally, my coffee board is just, that's all it is, it's just coffee. Like, aesthetic coffees, different designs with latte art, just normal Starbucks iced coffees, like anything that I look at and I go, Mmm, coffee. <laughs> Add it to that board. This is a cute little board for cute animals. If you like little puppies and kittens and I have pandas in mine and foxes and anything that I look at makes me go, aw, you can make a cute animal board. If people don't know about Pinterest, I think one of the first things that they think about are recipes on there. Um, it is such a good way for either healthy recipes unhealthy recipes we don't judge here but any recipe idea that you have or want to try you can save to a pinterest board um another thing outfit ideas if you like to look at pinterest for different outfits you can save that into a board i have an outfit board but i also have sections in there for different hats that i like different pins that i like i think i have dresses separated separated out into that and anything that has to do with clothes, I have in the, my outfits board, but I have them kind of separate, so those are different ideas as well. Moving on to 25, we're halfway there, guys. Your aesthetics board, this can be so catered to you, and that's, again, why I love Pinterest so much, but if you want to have different aesthetics or if you have one aesthetic, then you can put that in a board. A really fun board idea that I had was I created character aesthetics for different TV shows that I like. It's all the different characters that I like from different TV shows, and I made a board to cater to what I think their aesthetics would be. And that was so fun to make because I kind of put myself in the mind of that character and I was like, hmm, what would their Pinterest look like if they had it? Next idea are different TV shows. This could go with TV shows and movies if you wanted to have them together, but for me, they're different. So I have an X-Files board. That's a TV show that I love. But any TV show you like, 
Pinterest will have pins on it and you can put them in a board. This one's kind of different, but um, saving money and budgeting tips. There's a lot of that on Pinterest and a lot of articles you can, that you can read. I got a um, savings plan, like savings challenge kind of thing that I'm doing right now off of Pinterest and they have really good money saving tips. So I have that in a board as well. And I think that's really good for people who are trying to save some money. Who's not, am I right? Next board idea are just quotes quotes that you like, quotes that you want to live your life by. A lot of people use Pinterest for quotes um, because they are resonating, they resonate with a lot of people, but they're also cute and aesthetic. So uh, if you want to look for quotes, that's a really good option for a Pinterest board. If you're a DIYer, then DIY projects, there are so, so many of them. You can find inspiration, you can find step-by-steps, basically anything that you look for that's related to DIY could be a board. If you're a high schooler, then you can start a high school board. They have study tips on there, they have different things that you can buy for school, different websites that will help you with school work, and same thing with college. If you're a college student, then they have different college tips, ways to manage your time, anything that will help you become a better student and also take care of yourself, you can find on Pinterest. If you like gaming, I don't care if you play Call of Duty, if you're like a hardcore gamer, or if you're just a simmer, or a Minecraft player like me. <laughs> they have everything, any game that you would want, and you can put that in a board. I have a board called Humorous, and it's literally just pins that I find funny. You will find the weirdest humor on Pinterest and I did not know this because everybody thinks of Pinterest as being as like aesthetic or like goals or whatever. You can find some really dark web kind of <laughs> vibes on there and it's great. Going back to goals, I don't know why I didn't put this with my other goals one, but uh, love goals if you have like, if you want to be in a relationship, then I guess you can do that. Uh, have fun. <laughs> I have a little board called love, but it's um, which makes me kind of lonely, so I don't pin it that much. <laughs> if you like plants, you can start a plant board. There's different tips on how to take care of certain plants, which plants are best for being indoors, outdoors, you name it, it's on there. I think I've said that like five million times in this video, but the next thing you could be a part of are collab boards. Now these are boards that other people can start and invite you to, and there's multiple different people in a board. I just found out about this like recently this year that you could do it and I'm in a couple collab boards and it's really fun because you can just see um, everybody else, the pins that they see on their homepage they can put in the collab and it's all like different people collaborating. I know it's in the name, but that's a really fun option. If you don't want to just have Pinterest be by yourself, you can do it with other people. Another one, if you like writing, um, I feel like everybody has to write papers and stuff for school if they are in that, um, or for work, whatever job you have, but they have writing tips on there, or if you're more of a creative writer, or um, you like reading books a lot, that can be also incorporated into that, so. You can start a board for things that you want. I've seen my friends do this all the time, they just write things I want and then they put pins in there of things that they would like to buy someday or acquire or get it given as a gift. Those are great. If your friend has Pinterest, you can look on there what they want and just kind of sneakily give it to them as a gift. <laughs> but that is a good board idea as well. If you are females, kind of, well, it doesn't cater to females. Who am I kidding? If you get your nails done, if you like doing nails, there are so many different nail ideas on Pinterest. So you can go to the salon and show them the picture on Pinterest and be like, I want these. And then they're like, okay. So uh, if you want to start, I don't know why I did that. If you want to start that board, go ahead. The next two are kind of related. You can have an art board. I have one called Artistica and it has to do with just like paintings that I like and drawings that I like. And then photos, if you like photography or if you take photos for like your Instagram or whatever, there's a lot of um, inspiration photos that you can put on there, so that's another idea. If you have a party coming up, like a graduation party, um, not in these times, but in the future, they have a lot of party decoration ideas on Pinterest, so you can start a board, and then once the party's done, you can delete it or do whatever you want with it. You can leave it. Man, it doesn't matter, nobody cares. You can start a board for people that you like. I have an entire board for Leonardo DiCaprio. Mwah. I have an entire board for Robert Pattinson. Mwah. I mean, like, nobody cares. Pinterest is such, like, your own space. And I cannot rave more about it. But if you like people, or actors, or celebrities, or 
whatever, you can start a board for them. It's not like they're gonna see it, nobody cares. I've seen people who uh, put all their pins into just one board and have them all be together. And I've also seen people have boards just for every month and then they just add the boards in there at that month and they start a new one when a new month starts so they can kind of go back and look at what they pinned in each month, if that makes sense. If that caters more to your style, then totally do that. These next two are for food. You can have a board for healthy food or you can have a board for unhealthy food or you can put them together. Mine are together. I just have one big food board and it's called Balance. If you are a fitness person, can't relate, but great for you. Um, they have so many different workout ideas on Pinterest and fitness goals and ways that you can kind of incorporate more things into your life. And that's a great tip. You can also have a board for just your original pictures that you take. If you find a pic that you take and you're like, this is Pinterest worthy, upload it on there. I guarantee people will enjoy it just as much as all the other pins that are on there. I have one called OG and it's all pictures that I've taken. And I look back and I'm like, oh, these are nice. So. <laughs> Last board idea, guys, we finally made it. Um, and I kind of talked about this a little bit with the phot photography, but like I said, they have so many Instagram inspiration pictures on there. So if you wanted to start your own board for um, pictures that you want to recreate for Instagram or whatever you post on Facebook, I don't know, you can find so many inspiration pictures on there and save them to your Pinterest so you can go back and look at them later. Whew, that was so much talking, but those are my 50 pin, I think it was 53 or something, Pinterest board ideas for you guys. Now really quickly, I'm gonna hop over to my computer and I'm going to show you guys how I made my custom board covers using Canva. All right, so here I have Canva pulled up. I'm going to go to all my designs so you guys can see. This is also where I make all my uh, graphics for my Instagram, but. But here is what we want. Um, the RV life is the last one that I made. This is just a template that I found. And as you can see, I pay for Canva, but you definitely don't have to. These are all the square templates that they have. And this one was just like a simple little search, search bar. So what I'll do if I wanted to create a new board, I will go to my Pinterest and I will go to my page just so I can see what color the cover will need to be. So let's say, this is a collab board and you can't put them on collab boards that you don't own, but let's say I needed to make one for Kylie's board. I would go back over here and I would see it's kind of in the pinkish kind of area. So I would click on the background, then click up here and new color. And I don't adjust the, um, this one, this dot right here, but I just slide it over towards the pink so that it would kind of fit in to where it needs to be. And then I would click on this. Super easy, you guys. So freaking easy. And then I would just type in Kylie's board. And then I would download that. So then once I have that downloaded, I would click into the board. I would go up here to these three dots, click edit board. And then you can see there's a place right here for board cover. Then you just edit that and put whatever one you want in there, the picture that you just downloaded. It's that simple, you guys, and then all my pin, all of my Pinterest boards look really cohesive and they all look the same. All right, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you have not already, please subscribe down below and I will see you guys in Monday's video. Bye.